things I know some dorm rooms have been supplied with and some don't mine we actually had one of them and not the other so that is a garbage can and a mirror we were supplied with a garbage can I actually did bring my own because I wasn't sure and it was actually nice having my own because I don't know it was like nice if I could like throw away we throw away like perishable things like banana peels or like empty I don't know, like perishable things in one and we take that one out frequently and then the one I'd put under my desk would have stored like, um, like, uh, like dirty cotton balls or q-tips or crumpled pieces of plastic or stuff like that that would kind of get like full slower and it was a lot easier it's kind of just like to separate them as well and I would also ask if they have a recycling bin ours also did have a recycling bin because you don't want to be throwing like recycle come on it's 2012 bro you know how to recycle you know how good that's doing for the earth <laughs> and the second one is a mirror we did not actually have a mirror my roommate and I both brought mirrors I would definitely recommend getting the full-size ones as much as you can I mean there's not one that's like my height that's a little that's a little gigantic but having a full-size one that you can stick on the wall is really nice because I know we had one mirror that was above our mini fridge as you can see and it's not that big and you can only really see like half of your body and you want to make sure your outfit looks cute and you're not young VPL anything like that you want to make sure that you look good before you go out so having a mirror is actually something that's really handy especially if you're a girl. so the question may appear Megan how do I how do I hang things on my dorm room walls don't use tape don't use tacks you can't have holes in the walls but you can fill them up with toothpaste not that I told you that um and you can't have like tape because it can peel the paint off and you're gonna get in trouble and you're gonna get fined if your dorm room isn't as nice as it is when you first started as when you left so I would definitely recommend getting command hooks you can get those anywhere basically what they are is they're these little sticky things you can stick them on the wall you can stick them with posters some of them have hooks like command hooks you can hang like uh post not posters like uh, mirrors or anything you need to hang anything any of your hanging needs definitely go for it I actually had one giant command hook that I used to hang all of my belts off of which was really helpful and then I had another command hook that hang like a little like hung that like a little plaque that said M on it for Megan huh and then we also had command hooks all over the room because we hung up Christmas lights that is one of my super cheap really really easy decoration recommendations if you don't celebrate Christmas I know Jewish people who love Christmas lights they're there would be Christmas lights they can just be twinkling hanging lights they're so cute especially if you hang command hooks around the walls and I mean like in the corners of the walls and you can hang them looping through the entire room it just looks so cute when like the rooms like the lights are all turned off and you're like reading a book in your bed it's just so jolly and very cute it's a very simple way to spruce up your dorm room now let's go into sprucing up your dorm room and making it totally you and totally cute the number one thing that you're really going to place you really want to decorate is the walls. The walls are those giant bare walls. Some have actually been known to be cork, so you can actually stick pins in them, which is really cool. Mine were just plain white walls. So for that, I actually got this cool bulletin board thing from um, the container store. It wasn't just a plain one. It has like kind of sweepy and cool and I put all these pictures from high school on it um, probably only like five or six pictures from high school and then by the end of the year it was completely filled up with photos of me and my friends from college or like like a, a movie stub when Delaney and I went to go see The Bow and like cried our eyes out or like I don't know like fun little things like that like cute little mem memories and if you're a scrapbooking person like me you can save them for a later time and it's just cute to have it filled up with your like all your freshman year stuff and I think it's really cute to have a bulletin board because it's just fun and it gives you an excuse to take pictures and put them on the board. And another big decoration tip I have is something I've actually used in this room before. If you haven't seen a room tour of this room, this is my bedroom at my parents' house. I'll have it linked below. But there are these things that are kind of basically just like wall decals. They sell them at Target. That's the place I've seen them. I've also seen them at Ross and stuff like that. And um, the one I have in my bedroom at home is of the London skyline. It just looks like it's painted on, but it's not even painted on. It's a sticker. And it's a kind of decal that when you take it off, it doesn't stick to the paint, doesn't re release the paint off. And the one I got for my room just had all these like flowers and swirls and I put them all on my wall and I just like really dressed up the plain white wall and made it look super cute. There are tons of ways you can decorate. You can get the little command hooks, like the little sticky things and just put photos all over your wall. Or you can hang up photo frames or you can have a photo like mobile or anything like that or posters of your favorite artist or your favorite band or streamers or Christmas lights or anything. It's very easy to decorate the walls of your dorm room. Just take things that you like that Personally, I think decorating the walls is the easiest thing. You just want to make sure that you don't do anything you're not allowed to do, um, like sticking tape and tacks. But other than that, it's really easy. If you go into any sort of like dorm room section at like a Target or Bed Bath & Beyond, you're going to see tons of like cute little wall decoration stuff. And that's the number one thing I would recommend. Go crazy on wall decorations because you got a lot of space to fill up. So when it comes to school supplies for college, there's really not a kind of quota of what you exactly need. Your teachers most likely aren't going to tell you what you need. None of my teachers my entire freshman year were like, so you need this, 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 and this. I remember in high school, they'd hand you like a piece of paper and be like, hey, you need three dividers, you need one binder, like all that stuff. For me personally, 
I would bring, I had one notebook, um, and I had an each notebook, each like new like set of classes, um, and I'd have a notebook and each little second section, it would be divided up, each section would be for a different class, and then I'd write down all my notes in there, and I would do that for classes that don't allow laptops. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend bringing your laptop. Another number one thing I think you need in college is a laptop, because the computer rooms, if you have a computer in your school, we had one at mine, the computers were so slow, and they would crash all the time, and it was very difficult if you had to do your homework on one of those. Having a laptop is so easy, because you can study in Starbucks, if you have Starbucks on your campus, you can study anywhere, basically, in the study lounges at the library, and all that stuff. It's very nice to have your laptop with you. You can transfer it from class to your dorms to study sessions, and it's totally easy. Most teachers actually do allow you to have laptops. It completely depends on the class, at least for me at my school, a lot of mine allowed me to have laptops. It depends on how big the class is. If it's a lecture class, which typically, at least at my school, lecture halls had like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of kids in them. So it definitely, like, they didn't really care if you had a laptop. But if you have, kind of for me, if I had a hands-on acting class, I wasn't really obviously allowed to bring a laptop. But I definitely recommend bringing, bringing a laptop. That being said, your school supplies, if you can bring a laptop, you don't really need that much school supplies. I think you need paper, <laughs> you need pens, you need highlighters, you need pencils, and you really only need maybe one binder to store all of your loose things in or you can even use that in a folder and then maybe a couple notebooks or one notebook if it has dividers. That's all that I really had. I had, I also brought scissors and a stapler and I think, I think that was really it. There's just not that much you need. It's not like high school where you want to have super cute school supplies or anything like that. It's very, very, very easy to um, keep your stuff and a lot of the time most of your stuff is online, at least for mine. We didn't get a lot of handouts. It was 99% of the stuff was online, so it was a lot easier just to do most of your work off of a laptop. So if you guys didn't know, I'm totally a huge Apple person. Make sure if you're going to buy an Apple computer, a laptop, a MacBook, or anything like that, tell them you're a student because you can actually get a student discount, and they have some kind of cool bundles. I think HP uh, has those, like PC ones have cool bundles too, where you can say you're a student, and they will, they will not only give you a discount, but they can give you, like, throw in a free printer or a free iPod or something like that. So definitely make sure to, like, do your research and check it out because you can get a lot of free perks for being a college student. So I have one miscellaneous thing that I definitely recommend bringing, which some of you guys may think I'm totally ridiculous, but a costume box. This is something that could easily fit right under your bed, but I remember, like, first or second week of school, I called my mom in, like, a panic, and I was like, Mom, you just shipped me all of my costumes! and she was like, what? But I, I feel like everyone wears so many costumes and parties in college that you're literally like dressed as a angel, you're dressed as a devil, you're dressed as a cop, you're dressed as a robber, you're dressed as an army person. Like you're literally, <laughs> I feel like I'm never dressed as Megan <laughs> at school. So I definitely recommend bringing a costume box and you can totally add to it. There's tons of fun, cheap costume stores, typically right around college campuses because they kind of target that. And it's totally fun to like be able to have all that stuff and save it. Like Delaney and I's costume box is hilarious hilarious and we're only freshmen or now we're gonna be sophomores and it's gonna grow exponentially and exponentially we're gonna, by, the, by the time we're finished with senior year I'm sure we'll have a costume room but it's definitely something that's fun that I would recommend bringing because it kind of breaks the ice if maybe you and your roommate aren't that close but you guys want to like go to a party together or something and it's a themed party and you can be like hey like let's I have two of these like why don't we share and bond and I don't know it's like a fun icebreaker and definitely dress up for costumes don't be one of those girls who's like what I I'm Superman and you're wearing a red bra and freaking red thong that has an S on it. <laughs> you're not Superman. You look like a street walker. <laughs> Definitely get into costumes because they're one of the best parts of college. So I know when I was going to be a freshman in college, they actually had a checklist at Bed Bath & Beyond that had all these different kinds of like things that you may need, like even the small stuff that you might totally forget to bring, like band-aids or a first aid kit or like um, socks, like stupid things like that you might totally forget to bring. But instead, this year, there's this really, really, really cool thing from the company Slug Books that actually has an iPhone app. And even if you guys don't have an iPhone, if you have an iTouch or something like that, you can download the app and it literally has listed different sections of things that you need. Like they've got um, your shower stuff and all of that stuff. They've got your shower stuff, your closet stuff, your food stuff and anything like that. It's totally awesome, all the stuff that they have. And like, what's cool is you can go onto the app, you can delete things that you don't think you need. They even have, like, if you hover over it or click it, you can see, um, like, what they, why they recommend bringing it or something like that. And then you can go through and you can add your own thing. So if you're lying in bed, like me, I had a wrong, ongoing thing on, like, the Apple, not, like, the iPhone, like, reminders thing, and I would just, like, keep writing a list of things I would remember I need. But if you have an entire list and you only have to go through and delete things and add a couple more, it's totally awesome. And it's a free app, which is really cool. So I would definitely recommend downloading it. It's totally awesome. So you may not need a lot of school supplies, but you definitely need textbooks. I made the mistake one of my first classes that um, 
Delaney and I, we just were like, we don't need a textbook for this class, not at all. And we ended up having to borrow one from somebody else at like right before the final. And it was so like nerve wracking. As much as you're like, we don't need the textbook, you really, really, really do need the textbook no matter what any of the other students say, I would definitely recommend getting it. You wanna make sure you get the right price because some places will completely rip you off for textbooks. And at the same time, you can also rent textbooks. And there's so many questions about textbooks. I know for me, I kind of made the mistake of renting most of my textbooks, which I really liked at the beginning, but it got to a point where they would kind of lie and say like what time they would get there. And there was one time I was taking a psych class and I rented the textbook and the textbook never came and I had to like call and cancel my order and all that stuff like that and they were like, no, it totally came and I was like, it didn't come and I, at that point I was always waiting for it to come so I never went out and bought one and I never went out and got another one. So I definitely would recommend buying your textbooks or doing a really reliable site. There's this really cool site. It's kind of like one of those shopping sites where you can look around and see the best prices for everything but it's for textbooks. They're basically taking the, every single website and showing you the prices on the textbooks. And so you can compare and see the best prices. And what's the most awesome part of that is they show you how much it costs at your campus bookstore, which I thought was amazing to me because I did not live that close to my campus bookstore. And there were so many times that I'd be like walking on campus and I'd be like, you know what, like should I get on Amazon? Or I'm like, oh, just buy the campus bookstore. Turns out it was like $30 more at the campus bookstore. I even bought one that was like $50 on Amazon. I spent $160 on it at my campus bookstore because I was too lazy to look it up. Yes, that was my bad. But if I had a website where I could see the cheapest price everywhere so perfect I'll have slugs books linked down below it's I think it's like one of the most ingenious ideas and you guys are gonna save so much money on buying your textbooks this way and if you guys are skeptical about ordering books online they actually have this thing that's completely free where students can sign up and if they're selling their old textbooks they can list it on there too and then you can look around and then maybe someone selling that textbook who lives like five minutes away and it's totally local so if you need it immediately and you don't want to spend the price of the bookstore you can get it used from someone who's like a friend it's really cool and having it in addition on this website and comparing that price to someone who lives five minutes away who's selling it versus Amazon who's gonna take a week to ship versus your bookstore which is right there all that stuff you can compare all those prices for used books new books and I think that it is such an ingenious idea. It's just such a smart idea and it's so helpful. So I'll have slug books linked in the down bar. Definitely make sure to check it out to get your textbooks there. It is like the easiest thing in the entire world. Okay, you guys, so that is my Dr. Megan video on what to bring to college and all the things like that. I will actually have everything I talked about listed in the down bar and linked in the down bar. If you have any more questions about, you think my personal advice, what to bring, not what to bring, what not to bring, definitely comment it and I will try to get to as many as possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely make sure to check out slug books in the down bar and the slug books app in the down bar which even covers more things than I even said in this video so if you're like Megan you didn't talk about this definitely check out their app and you will see even more stuff that even I totally forgot to mention I hope you guys enjoyed this and if any more Dr. Megan video requests definitely make sure to comment them and thumbs it up if you love Dr. Megan videos and the glasses so I'll talk to you guys later